Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the AFOL champ, the adult fan of Lego champion here with the carrot mascot. This is a collectible minifigure from the latest series, series 24. And this is a figure at first when I saw it come out, I was like, eh, you know, I might get that. Normally I'm not a real big fan of these uh, mascot or costume uh, figures or people or whatever you'd like to call them. But I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. So, I mean, when you look at the accessories, it comes with a printed sign. Now, the sign is nothing special. But, of course, the main main accessory is going to be this carrot costume. It does have kind of a rubbery top to it. So, I was, you know, I was kind of worried that would be fragile and get broken. I think that's pretty, I think that's pretty safe. So, that's, uh, that's good. Obviously, it's dual molded. If you take the costume off, though, I think that's where it kind of starts to show its strength here. You have the printing on both the front and back of the torso, where it shows them with the, the sweater and the dark green overalls. And actually, it shows some fairly detailed printing there. So I like that. You also saw the printing on uh, both sides of the head. You have two faces. Both of them are pretty good and unique. You got nothing special or crazy, but I'll take that. Uh, you don't see a lot of red hair there out of out of uh, lego minifigs and then you do also have dual molded legs so that's a positive as well i was kind of worried that you'd just get you know one face and you know possibly no printing on the torso or possibly just you know plain legs i feel like they've done that before with with uh figures where the the main draw is a is a silly costume and then you also get in case you want to uh not have a, a carrot walking around your city or your room or whatever. You also get just some normal orange hair, which I believe, I believe is unique to this figure, exclusive to this figure. I could be wrong on that. I'm not a, a expert on that, those type of things, but I think it is. And again, it's fairly usable hair, so I like that. I also like that, uh, you know, with the carrot costume and the farmer's market sign, this looks like it goes with the farmer or farm or farming uh, sub theme from the city line from uh, 2022. There was a whole bunch of uh, farming sets and there was that van with the carrot on top. I think it's like a mobile organic, I don't know if it's organic or mobile farmer's market or something like that. Uh, this looks like it would go with that. So that's kind of nice too. I don't know if that was intended or not, but it certainly uh, certainly adds to the value to me. So again, I, this is not a perfect figure, you know, at this point without the ridiculous carrot thing on it, this looks kind of like a, just a normal, pretty generic figure that you'd get with almost any city set. And uh, certainly not like a, a high level that we expect out of a CMF, but it's, you know, there's nothing, nothing bad or horrendously bad with this. So maybe it's just, I'm uh, judging it a little uh, easy based on my preconceived, uh, displeasure with these type of figures but I, I am going to give it a b a grade of a b you know b is in boy so it's definitely above average it's better than i was what i thought now again is it perfect no but i don't know if it's per i don't know if you're able to get an a grade or a much higher grade with a, a figure based on wearing a vegetable costume so uh anyway that's uh that's my take on this you can tell me if i'm right wrong or somewhere in between Hopefully this has been a good uh, four minutes of your life or so watching this video. Hopefully you got whatever information or entertainment or whatever it is that you need out of me or out of this video. Hopefully, I feel like this video has been a little shakier than normal. Hopefully that's, uh, hopefully you've withstood that. But uh, hopefully you leave me a comment. Hopefully uh, you tell me if I'm right, wrong, or somewhere in between on what would you grade this as or how would you use this figure in a, in a Lego city. Uh, hopefully you hit the like button, hopefully you hit the subscribe button and hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.